Good morning, everybody. My name is Eli, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, this week, I decided I would do a week in the life video. I know I haven't done one this semester yet, and I usually do at least like one or two week in the life vlogs each semester, so why not get it started now? Um, I have a pretty decent week up ahead. Today is Monday, March 13th. I had class from 8 to 12 today. Uh, tomorrow, class 8 to 12 again. Wednesday, I have implantology lab from 8 to 12. Thursday, I have class from 8 to 12. And Friday, I have one class at 8 a.m., a new class, behavioral sciences. Um, also, we are now at the point of the semester that we're gearing up for clinic. So on Tuesday evenings, my group uh, goes in for perio like workshop where we learn how to probe on patients, do cleanings, etc. So aside from that, what else do I have going on? Um, Monday and Tuesday, I have uh, a well Monday today. I have an intramural basketball game. Tuesday, I have an adult league basketball game. So two different leagues I'm playing in right now. Um, and Thursday I have to do, I'm giving like a talk. So I figured I would bring that, bring the vlog along for that as well. Um, definitely my first time doing something like this. Might as well, you know, record it. Anyway, uh, aside from that, if you're new to the channel, my name is Eli. I'm a second year dental student at Boston University. On this channel I make dental school vlogs as well as videos with advice for pre -dents. So if this interests you, please make sure you subscribe, share the channel with anyone else who might find it interesting. Make sure you like the video and comment if you have any questions. And without further ado, let's get into this week in the life. All right, it's about time for me to head to school. It's only 8.38 right now. I'm about to walk to the bus. I need to go to the post office and I wanna do that before class. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, random shout out to success he is a dental student in nigeria he comments under a lot of my videos and is usually the first comment or one of the first comments so i gotta give a shout out to you because not a lot of people comment um and it's definitely always refreshing to see someone commenting and seeing people interact with the video so shout out success i hope dental school is going well for you and uh Thanks for watching the videos, man. Something to the people. You know they're always waiting on you. It's been a while. We were in the trenches a little bit. Um, our endo class is over now. We're currently doing farm and plantology. I don't know if I've done a vlog since like Remo ended, to be honest. Okay. So, we're done with Remo. Remo was a very tough struggle, but we made it out. So now we're doing farm and plantology. We're back to that general medicine dental correlations class. Uh, and then, yeah, you'll see us for actually now at this point, from now until July, we are struggling. Like, we have, we're back to basically a D1 vibe exams of the week so our chill period is over so probably the next time you see me we'll be at our white coat which i'm assuming he's gonna record i don't know yeah yes i'll try you'll try yeah. <laughs> it'll be a good time um but anyway um so so um uh i'm a russian so um Anyway, uh, so, uh, so endogenous. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm home from school and it's 1230. I walked home, so, and the professor ran over time. So that's why I'm just now getting home, but I'm about to change real quick and get ready to go to the gym, uh, make some pre-workout, etc. cetera. And um, yeah, not wasting any more time because I got home a little later. And I want to be able to come home and study and stuff. So let's just get straight to it. This week in the gym, I'm actually trying a deload week. 
for the first time. Um, so, a deload week, typically, um, you do like a lighter, lighter, re uh, lighter weights, less reps, um, you know, kind of allow your body some time to recover. If you've been keeping up with me, I know I haven't been vlogging, but with my shorts or on Instagram, TikTok or whatever, you know that like the past few weeks, I've been putting up some really heavy weight in the gym. I got some new maxes, new PRs, whatever. Um, and I, you know, I got two games this week. I don't want to overspend my body. Um, so I want to try doing a deload week. So essentially be doing light, light weight at the gym this week. Give my body a little active recovery. Um, and because of that, I will be taking maybe this non-stem pre-workout with no caffeine at all. Or I'll take the low stem and magic mind. Yeah. Let's do a low stem and magic mind. So, while we're on the topic of such, <sighs> I got good news and I got bad news. Good news. You can still try magic mind and get 20% off using my code. For those that haven't watched a previous vlog, you know that I drink this drink religiously. Whether it's for the gym, school, studying all day, anything like what it does is it helps me keep my focus. It helps me stay wired and on task. I always find myself super productive on the days that I drink Magic Mind with my coffee or my pre-workout, whatever. And that doesn't just mean productive as far as school. Like I said, productive in the gym, productive in life, like everything. So I do stand by this drink and that's why I promote it on my channel. And I'm fortunate enough to be able to give you guys a code to, to try it for a discounted price. Now, unfortunately, this month will be the last month that you can use my code. Yes, I had a six month contract with Magic Mind and it is coming to an end. It's been lovely working with them and hopefully I get a chance to work with them in the future as well because I definitely do, I definitely do use these drinks. Um, and for those of you who have tried it already, I'm glad you took my advice and tried it. If you haven't, this is your last chance. Like, I mean, I've been I've been telling y'all for six months and honestly even more. The first time I promoted Magic Mind Drink was probably in April or May of last year. So, it's been a long time coming and hopefully Magic Mind isn't going too far from me. Um, but if you want to try it, now's your chance so gym session was lightweight good amount of reps and honestly i feel like this deload week deload week was really good for my body um it allowed me some time to rest and recover while still keeping my body moving and i'm definitely noticing the difference now as i'm editing this which is almost a week later um the deload week was definitely something i needed and something i need to incorporate more into my workout routine Honey, I'm home. Damn, my mic not even hooked up. Uh, I guess this is the time that I let y'all know that's obviously fake. All right, so for real, y'all, I'm home from the gym. Wore a hat because haircuts not till Wednesday. Yeah, it's been a month too. But it's 2.30 and I'm home for the gym. That's pretty good timing couple random things that happened and I figure I'll just mention it in the video right now um number one uh so I did a recent video about like why I needed a post back between undergrad and dental school and I guess I never mentioned where I did my post back and as I was walking home from the gym literally somebody messaged me on Instagram asking about post back programs uh that I would suggest and then uh, the, the, I forget what her official title is, but someone from my post bag program sent me an email and told me like they saw my YouTube video and asked like if they could promote it on their website, which is pretty cool. Um, and asked like if there were any specific videos when I'm, where I mentioned the actual post bag program that I did. So, uh, there are a few videos. I'm going to send her the links. Um, but 
I did my post back at uh, George Squared, which is a program that's between George Mason and Georgetown Universities. It's like both schools. Um, honestly, I would describe it and all, but I did that in so many videos and Google, Google works. This is going to be a long video anyway. There's no time to do all that. So I just got home from the gym and I need to start knocking stuff off of my to-do list that I mentioned earlier. I believe I mentioned it on the video. But first thing I'm going to do, cook. I got this salmon from the store yesterday. So I'm going to cook these salmon fillets in the air fryer. And I'm going to make some yellow rice. Um, that shouldn't take too long. Going to drink a protein shake and get that out too. I'm, just, I'm literally just thinking out loud right now. Pro and Cree. Y'all saw my short. Y'all know what I mean. Gotta feed the muscles. Um, okay, Pro and Cree. And the lecture that I skipped this morning. Yeah, we're not, we, we're not waiting until Friday or the weekend to watch that. I'm about to put that on the TV. I'm about to airplay it to the TV right now. So I can start watching it while I start preparing this food. Um, and we gonna knock that out now because we're not gonna we don't what we do here We stay on top of things. You may have saw me skip this morning, but trust and believe That's not that's not a procrastination thing. That's planned out. Okay, so we're gonna get that popping and uh, I'll let y'all see a few things that I do And yeah, we're gonna go on about our day after that, but for now that's the plan It means our active blood is filtered in the green line. It goes through these tubules in the medulla and that's um, when we have a functioning kidney, um, but we do, well, you know, when you boil your pasta, you basically then um, dump the pasta out or dump the water out. The um, uh, I guess uh, inadequate in some ways, um, but incredibly adequate part. And over time, the 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 corner, the better make shit okay, that's the basic concept behind hemodialysis. Convection is using pressure. So you basically have a filter. Alright y'all, so as you can see right now, I am at my desk. And I just got finished doing some studying. I highly recommend standing desk. Just in case you don't feel like sitting down or you get tired of sitting down, get a standing desk. Matter of fact, I'll put the standing desk that I got in my storefront, my Amazon storefront. But anyway, um, on Thursday I'm giving this... Uh, like a presentation type of thing, a talk, I guess, to the OHS master's students at my school. They wanted me to come in and talk about like balancing work and life in dental school. So I'm working on like a little presentation for that. Um, honestly, no idea what I'm going to say. I've never really done something like this. Um, I'm not like one of those people that are afraid of public speaking or anything like that. But I just don't really know exactly what I'm going to say. So I'm trying to put it in a PowerPoint, and just get that figured out. Um, but yeah, it's currently 6.50. Game is at 10, which means I'm going to leave my house at like 9 and, and take the train to the undergrad campus. Uh, but for right now, I'm just working on this, uh, studying. I, I watched that class. Um, what else did I have to do? Study for farm, yeah, and then do this, and then I'll probably do some more studying for pharmacology when I finish working on this. Um, so today's Monday and it's on Thursday. I'll get it figured out before then, but honestly, no idea what I'm going to talk about. So, gotta take some time to figure that out. Anyway, back to work I go. So again, we're not trying to get copyrighted. I'm just working at my desk doing some work on my PowerPoint as well as studying for pharmacology. Not going to make this too long, just don't want to get copyrighted, so we can move on from here. I'm on my way to my game now. I didn't bring my camera because the weather's trash, so maybe I'll get some footage tomorrow. I'm going to make a train. Ooh, good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday, March 14th. And it is 7, 10 in the morning. I have class 8 to 12 today. I am going to my 8 a.m. class today. They take attendance. Um, periodontology at 8. Pharmacology again today, 10 o'clock. Um, not much to say today. 
Boston is expecting a snowstorm or some type of winter weather storm. So, uh, today might look ugly. But, you know, quick quick morning of class and then my afternoon is open to study get some work done and then i'll be back at school at five for perio like clinic rotation preclinical stuff um so not too hectic of a day to day no gym just school and uh got an adult league game at 7 50. um they should be pretty smooth so see y'all when i'm heading to school and specific abrasives that can remove the stains. Now keep in mind with all that showing how like this brushing technique of back and forth improper technique with an abrasive toothpaste can cause more uh, issues around the teeth. So okay, so yes, it is 10 o'clock and I am at home. The reason I'm at home, as you can see, it's horrible weather today in Boston wind rain and they're expecting it to start snowing this evening or the, later this afternoon um my first class ended at 9 15. it was supposed to be from 8 to 10 and then my second class from 10 to 12. but since my first class ended at 9 15 and i didn't want to waste precious minutes of my life and i was also very tired and needed coffee i decided to come home i will be studying drinking coffee. The first thing I'm going to do actually, because I'm going to watch the class as soon as it's, uh, the recording is released, which is right after class at 12. So what I'm going to do until 12 is edit a video that I've, that I recorded, uh, last week sometime I recorded it, but I never got around to finishing the editing. Uh, and then I'll also work on the PowerPoint for my talk on Thursday. What else do I put in my planner? Um, yeah, edit the video, work on the PowerPoint, and then when class comes out, I'll watch class. After that, I'll study. I have to be back at school at 5 p.m. for Perio. So, I have a good seven hours. Um, yeah, so, I think it's time to get to work. And I'll catch up with y'all in a few. So, I'm trying this new coffee. It's like coffee with creamer already mixed in it. Not a fan. Um, I think you gotta add more creamer on your own. And who feels like, what's the point in that? What's the point in combining the coffee and creamer if I still gotta add more on my own? That don't make no sense. So, not the biggest fan of that, but I'm also not a fan of wasting my money. So, I'll be using this until it's gone. And I'll just have to make sure that there's a good amount of sugar in there because, the, you know, yeah, whatever. It, they didn't have regular iced coffee at the store, so I went with that. Um, probably not my best decision, but, you know, we tried it. We could say we tried it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm about to drink this coffee, edit, have a productive day up until I have to go back to school. I think I'll get a lot of stuff done today, to be quite honest. Um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see. I need to get more sugar. Okay, it is 3.30. I just finished watching class from this morning because I took a little nap, not going to lie. Um, so yeah, I ate, watched class from this morning, and I'm about to get ready to go back to school. Um, I don't have like pre-clinic for perio till 5, but I like to get there a little early. Plus, I got to make sure I catch the bus because the weather's terrible. Tonight's basketball game already got canceled because the winter storm, so... Depending on how bad it looks, when I get out of class, I might go to the gym. We'll see. All right, man. We all dressed, ready to go to school. Excuse the noise. I got your honor on the TV. Um, but yeah, let's get this over with. Honestly, I'm ready to go and come back home. And depending on what time I get home, I don't even really... There's no snow right now. So, 
Let's hope the weather stays okay and we can go to the gym after we get back from school. I'm leaving school right now and it is seven, almost seven o'clock. It's like 6.57. Uh, don't know what I was thinking. I'm not going to the gym. It's snowing officially. Still not sticking yet, but today is a rest day. I was gonna go in the house, maybe play some 2K with my friends, do some studying and get some sleep before tomorrow. Um, that's pretty much it. So yeah. Catch up with y'all later. Oh, tired this week, man. Life of a dental student. All right, so like I said, um, I decided not to go to the gym due to the weather. Uh, I came home and just relaxed. I played 2K for like an hour. And now I'm back on my computer. Gonna do some work. Um, probably won't do any more editing today, but you know, just putting stuff on my computer for, you know, today's uh, footage from the vlog. And I'm gonna study for pharmacology a little bit and call it a night. Um, yeah, so tomorrow morning, uh, if we have class, I have implantology lab at 8 a.m. I heard it's optional, but um, I'll, I'll be going. Then I'll get my hair cut at 11.30, and that'll be my Wednesday. So, I'm not really, don't really have much more to show y'all today. I'm just going to be at my desk, um, and I'll probably turn the TV on, some of the first four games for the final four. And yeah, catch up with y'all tomorrow. Night. Good morning. Ooh. Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, March 15th. I'm exhausted, but I'm up and I'm ready to attack the day. Um, all I have today is Implantology Lab. It's a practice session for our final summative exam in the lab. Um, I think our summative is uh, working on making surgical guides for implant placement. Um, but yeah, lab is at 8. It's currently like 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm still getting ready to go to school, but wanted to make a brief intro. So the week's been going pretty good so far. Besides my game getting canceled and then not really doing that much as far as the snow goes, as expected. Um, but... Yeah, today's a short day, thankfully, so I'm just going to get up, go to school, uh, after school, get a haircut finally, because, woo, yeah, very necessary. Uh, after I get a haircut, probably go to the gym, and um, after that, study and work on this PowerPoint for tomorrow. That's kind of it for the day, so come along with me today. Let's get it going. Well, in 10 minutes, Trying to get people to go to Solid Sports. I just told you I didn't have the courage to go yet. You were saying? Small. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have a lot to do. <laughs> I, I too feel the same way. That, that's crazy. Rachel, do you want to make a cameo? Talk. Um, he usually said that, though, he's like, this is what we're doing in lab this week. Don't bring that. We're here. You said we should what? Make a crown cut. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how I feel about crowns. But we need to work on it. Because it's only, the test is only getting closer. And the more we practice, the better off we'll be. <laughs> I mean, might as well. Might as well. Yeah, so 
we didn't have lab. In the course schedule, it said that today was like a study session or a practice session for the summative. But I mean, we thought it would be like led by the professor and I guess not. We still have like two more sessions for that. So yeah, my haircut's at 11.30, it's 8.15. I'm going to be smarter about this and what I'll do is take the bus home, it comes in about six minutes. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym, straight from the gym to the train station and take the train over to get my hair cut. Um, yeah, hopefully I don't get too sweaty, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll make it work either way. Anyway, yeah, we're going to save time and do that. Luckily, I don't sweat a lot at the gym, so I shouldn't have any issues. Um, but yeah, just going to go ahead and take care of all that while I'm out. All right, time to, time to go. I ain't gonna lie, it's mad cold. But I'm leaving the gym and walking to the train station so I can finally get a haircut. Can't wait. Are we still doing it off the top though? Uh, yeah, like down the way. Like, like, okay. Okay. All right, so I just got a haircut. Um, low key, one of my pet peeves. I absolutely hate putting on a hat right after getting a haircut, and usually I don't. But Boston is just so cold right now. 40 degrees right now and windy. So I really don't have a choice. I'm not trying to get sick again. So I got the whole rest of the day to myself. I'm on my way home. Going to wait for the train, all that good stuff. And then... uh I'm going to chill for the rest of the day. i obviously get some work done. Probably start editing this vlog so I don't have to do a whole week's worth of editing in a few days. Um, yeah. See y'all when I get home. All right, y'all. It is currently 2 p.m. on Wednesday. I'm back home from the barbershop. As you can see, much needed cut. I still need to take a shower, though. As you can see, much needed cut. Uh, so right now I'm eating some lunch. The food that I meal prepped earlier this week. Salmon and yellow rice. And I'm finishing up this PowerPoint for my talk tomorrow. So that'll be finished up probably by like 2.30, honestly. I don't have much to add. Um, for the rest of the day, like I said before, I'm just going to relax, study, this should be finished up, uh, and I don't know, I kind of play today by ear, because I just had so much free time thinking we had lab this morning, hmm, yeah, anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'll be back on the vlog later, and we'll talk. I'm actually doing some work right now. I did take a little nap. I did play some video games. But now, Alexa, turn the TV off. Okay. That was making too much noise. Uh, now I'm doing some work. It is currently 7.30 p.m. Um, and I don't really have too much more to say for today. Tomorrow, what's tomorrow's schedule looking like? I always got to pull it up and check. <laughs> um, tomorrow, Thursday, March 16th, we got class from 8 to 12. Let me put this in my calendar at 2 p.m. Um, that meant talk. Yeah, so I just have class 8 to 12 tomorrow, lecture. And then I have that talk at 2 p.m. And I'm straight for the day. Uh, so that should be a pretty nice, pretty easy day. Nothing too crazy. And, uh, yeah. I don't have too much more to say today. I was really tired. Um, I guess since I got up at 6.30 and just 
kind of was on go since then. So I just laid in bed, took a little nap. I'm back up in Adam. Uh, still had a pretty productive day. But I'm going to close the vlog out for the rest of the day. So that was Wednesday. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, what's up, y'all? It is officially Thursday morning, Thursday, March 16th. Right now, it's 7.09 a.m. Um, I'm already uh, ready for school. I woke up, made some pancakes, drank some tea, and um, I'm good to go for the day. So I have radiology this morning at 8 o'clock, and I have pharmacology at 10. I've had pharmacology three days this week, and I've been filming for four days. But, um, yeah, pharmacology, and then that's the only classes I have today. At 2 p.m., I'm doing the talk, and that's it. So, my radiology course takes attendance between 8 o'clock and 8.05, so I need to make sure I'm there bright and early, on time, whatever. Um, and that's why I'm up right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Thursday... It's been a long week, but I'm glad I've been able to take y'all with me every day. Um, yeah, let's, let's go to school. There is a communication, so you know that's not a problem. But if I see the osteomedial complex is blocked, it's not patent, then I use first class just ended. I ran to the dental school real quick and I'm going back to class for farm. I am not leaving today. Just got home. Yes, sir. It is 1223. I just finished walking home. So like I'm kind of sweaty and look like whatever. But talk is at two. I'm about to eat real quick and I'm going to go back to school. And uh, yeah, not much to say right now, but. I'll catch y'all when I'm going back. Side hustles, like, what is your way of taking your mind off of school? I'm dog walking. Dog walking, okay. So it's not, uh, like a hobby that pays? Yeah. Yeah. Jim. Jim. Let's go. My number one go-to. And of course, like, it's really hard to always stick to your plan that you put out, especially like if you plan everything out on Sunday things change by Tuesday or they change by Wednesday. Like you definitely have to have the ability to adapt. But at the end of the day, planning your week out beforehand, or even if you can't do the whole week, like planning your day out at the beginning of the day will give you something to stick to. And if things come up, things come up. But at least you have an idea of like what you need to get done or what you want to get done. All right, so I'm home now. Um, and that's gonna conclude this week's vlog. Uh, Thank you all for watching. A week in my life as a dental student. I know I'm ending on Thursday, but there isn't much going on tomorrow. Just have one lecture in the morning. And I want to give myself some time to edit and stuff. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more dental school vlogs. Like the video if you watched all the way through, of course. And um, check out some of my other vlogs. I have more coming out soon, but also I'm doing a, give a giveaway real soon, very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you on the next vlog. Peace.